We've all been there. You're in a workplace setting and someone says something flatly racist. You cringe inside because you know you should say something. Then you try to manufacture all kinds of excuses in your mind to avoid the conflict. Oh, he didn't mean it that way, or best not to confront it in the moment, or I'll talk to him later, or this isn't my job, it's HR's, or someone else will deal with it. Part of the problem is that in the moment, you're filled with a confusing combination of disgust and fear. You hate what you just heard and feel revulsion toward the person who said it. At the same time, you're scared to make an enemy or provoke a confrontation. So what can you do? Speak up. But not in the way we typically do. Don't start with your judgments or feelings. Start with facts. Facts are uncontroversial. People are less likely to take offense if you simply play back what just happened. Start like this. I want to talk about something that just happened. While we were talking about the launch team, you said, we can't include Omar. People like him don't relate well in the South. Did I hear that correctly? Be careful to repeat it without exaggeration. Don't add volume or emotion that wasn't there when it was said. Once you've confirmed what was said, get curious. Ask for a fuller explanation of the intent if needed. Then share your views or feelings on the issue. Bias in the workplace won't change until we change how it is discussed. When you need to confront something touchy, remember, facts first, feelings second. Thanks for watching. Visit vitalsmarts.com slash say that to access more tips and training on how to speak up when it matters most.